Hello, BSI members and employees, and welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Bonds Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles company for the better. That's right, after four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the tragic closure of Bonds Burgers back on July 20th, 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you, the Relocate Project. But before we go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. With the company greeting out of the way, let's start analyzing the Relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous tapes, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. Later on, a good amount of business opportunities appeared, such as books, merch, animated movies, we even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram the robots of Bond's Burgers with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not-so-distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bond's Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart.
technical support. Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9, the Bunny Smile Storage Facility. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the Bunny Smile uniform. Um, but most importantly, all of you must always under any circumstance use your BSI ID card. Once you have all the necessary equipment at hand, we are ready to go. Hello, I see you made it to the storage facility. I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working here. But let's stop and think, do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Let's check the items you will require for your job at K9, lantern, check, snacks, check, key, check, camera, check. Wow, it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the... It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with co-workers, you name it. Remember to always treat this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a Bond's Burgers restaurant. The third door is used to hide... Welcome to the basement. Right now, you are in the main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. In the Bond's Burger restaurant, remember to avoid touching or shining lights at our robots unless you are a facility technician. Now let's move on to the next room. How odd, I remember we visited this room already. Sophie, where am I? Listen, 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 listen. By the time the lady entered the backstage as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Rose broken. We'll fix you. You will beautiful. You will beautiful. You will beautiful. Like, two or three in the morning. 
along with the lights on, which was weird, because back then, the company didn't really worry about hiring night guards. But yeah, the police closed after people reported hearing the screams of the adult woman inside of the restaurant. Jeez. So yeah, yeah. Some hours after that specific case was reported, the restaurant decided to close the stores, probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. Um, what's weird about this is that the last day Bonds was open, they only let, like, one or two families in. And they mentioned later that the animatronics, like the entertainers, were completely absent and the currents were closed. Well, that's odd. Uh, this horse reminds me of the movie, the, uh, is that just Chainsaw Man? I think we change these pieces with the new one. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the others soon enough to finish everything by Friday. I mean, yes. But I think we should make them look as new as possible. That's the point. That's the point of this whole project, right? The, um, I think we should restore yes. as much as we can. But mm-hmm. right? yes. But if we keep focusing on these small details, the reprogramming of the robots won't be finished. Hey Kevin, I thought we can add the blinking eyes feature on this one. Eye pockets are really damaged. I'm also sure if someone did this intentionally. I think all these holes in the suit and stuff were made after the closing. What do you mean? When the place closed down, someone from the test, the company who created the robots, had to revise them after noticing a good amount of irregularities in them. During the process, they probably did this mess to get to the end of sales. Good night, guys. God, it is so cold in this place. Look at this key. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentions its purpose? You were just overlooking stuff. I mean, why would they give us a key with no use whatsoever? Exactly! It has to be for something interesting. Maybe, but we're, uh, running out of time. We should focus on finishing these robots by tomorrow. Right. Good night. Hello! This will probably be the last party today before we leave. So, yeah. Bad news! The programming page was unsuccessful. We had a lot of inconveniences when we tried to restore the robot, some damaged parts in the end of the skeleton models made it impossible to add the new features, and let's not forget the fact that we didn't have enough time to end the project. Yeah, we hope we can go back with better equipment and a better deadline. As Hillary said, we're begging the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan, but for now, this ends the reprogramming phase for the uh, uh, relocation project. And while well, I am using the camera because I am planning to buy her with this key leads to. I'm sure whatever this key hides could save the project. I will show this footage to you guys once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. It took me a while, but I realized the key leads to this door, labeled back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. I don't think I have time, so I'll just try and pick around the doors and see what's inside. There are a ton of empty rooms with boring stuff. I came across this door, which, uh, which was open. Kinda weird. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endo pieces and from the looks of it, some unused animatronics, I guess? I won't go into detail about what I find since I'm in a rush, of course, and... Uh, this, this, this room number 26 or 27, I, I think? Um, as you can see here, there are some, uh, spare heads. Nothing I interested in to be on. <laughs> well, this is a bizarre. I can't really tell if this buddy is a robot or a puppet, but like, you know, why is it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. <laughs> seen this clown thing before. It's, it's really, like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can take a closer. Um, I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. So I guess I'll have to be brave and, uh, try and see what this whole thing is. I don't really know why this dude has a cassette player thing installed. But my guess is that it's used for, um, for birthday parties, like, you want to play a customized tape or something? I don't know. But we're about to find out.